Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. It's nearly Christmas, it's nearly 2019, so let's do another video and get on and have a little bit of fun. So first off what we have here is a BBC micro game. Now for those of you who don't know, most UK people will know this of course, the BBC microcomputer was a machine made by Acorn. It was promoted by the BBC with uh, an educational program. The literature scheme became very massive. It was a big, uh, it was a big thing for Acorn and the BBC, of course. And it which uh, which meant that uh, the BBC became pretty well known in most schools. I uh, remember using one in about 82, 83, 84, perhaps 83, 84 actually, in my local high school. And we used to play games, write programs, learn a bit of basic, that sort of thing. Of course, the home microcomputer was going to be a big thing. Uh, it wasn't. It was dead by about 1990 when the PC started to take over. But anyway, here is Cargo on the BBC Micro. It's a game that I'd kind of forgotten about but sort of half remembered. And I put it out on Twitter a few weeks, uh, a few days ago. And uh, you guys came back to me and told me what the game was. It is, of course, of course Cargo. Um, now, I didn't remember how to play it, but you guys have very kindly found me a link, found me a website, and uh, I now have instructions on how to play a download of the game, and we're going to play Cargo on the BBC. Exciting, isn't it? So, let's see how we get on. Okay, so let's get on, and we're going to play Cargo. Do you have a printer? No, I do not. Do you want sound? Yes, please. Let's have two crates. So the first thing you have to do is input the directions. Now this is pretty simple to do. You press F2 to program, and you type in left two, right two, down one, down two, and so on and so forth. Now I've managed to uh, have a little practice before, so I've kind of had a go at this already. So I'm going to type in the instructions that I've already written down. So we go down one, uh, down 15 rather, right one, close the clamp, up one, right nine, down two, open clamp, we should drop the crate, up one, left eight, um, close the clamp, so this should pick B up, right seven, down one, open the clamp and we should be on the ship. So now we press F4, press, oh F to finish and then F4 and the program will automatically run. So let's see what happens. So you can go right, there you go, it's telling the instructions on the left what it's doing. Create A is moving along beautifully into my ship, my shiny red ship, look at that, fantastic. All good, we're going to pick up B and we're going to drop it down and sail away and complete the level. Yay! Oh. Oh, balls. Well, clearly you don't put all the crates on one side of the ship. Because, as we all know, freight ships sink if you put all the cargo on one side. Okay. Well, we better have another go. So, what we're going to have to do now is copy the same instructions that we had before. But we're going to try and wing it a little bit. So down 15, right 1, close clamp, uh, up 1, right 9, down 2, open the clamp, so that's all the same as before, up 1, we're going to go left um, 8, Close clamp, up two, okay, so it, I'm guessing a little bit now. The idea is I think that you count the spaces on the gantry, on the crane, and you sort of guess a little bit where things go. I'm not sure, but I think that's the idea. That must be how we did it at school. There'll be fingerprints all over the uh, cub monitors, I would imagine. So, okay, so we're going to go right 14 down to open clamp. 
we'll press F to finish and then F4 to execute and this will work beautifully seemingly error free as we load our freight ship look at that cargo of tea going back to sunny England beautiful and we've got some nice healthy tobacco no what would B be? B could be I don't know right for ah okay right okay now you may have noticed a small error there in my calculations as my ship sinks to the bottom of Davy Jones's locker well that didn't work too well we better have another go balls okay F2 we'll have another go should take us back to the beginning okie dokie well we know the first part of the routine so I'll quickly type this in on my piece of paper that I've written down here C close clam U1 blah 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 we know the score we've been here before left 8 yep close clamp right 7 oh right 12 yeah let's try right 12 open clamp right this is it this is another successful venture on HMS MJN Picking up our tea bags, beautiful. Dragging them over, lovely, lovely. Getting them out before Brexit, okay. Get our tobacco ready, lovely, lovely. Ah, that's even worse than the last time, you bloody knob. Well, as you can see, that was a complete error, so we better have another go. Oh, how simple things were in the olden days. This would make a good game on an iPhone or something. Do they still make kids games like this? I don't know if they do. This is great. I can imagine. Well, I can't imagine. I know we did. We spent hours on this on Friday afternoons. Sun beating through the windows of the classroom. Sweating to death on plastic chairs. But, uh, but I enjoyed it simple times simple times okay up to right 12 down 2 I'm not sure if that's down 2 or down 3 would that be down 2 or down 3 anyway we'll, we'll give that a go and see what happens okay this might be it this might be the one although I've got a sneaky suspicion that box B is going to drop in mid air I think I need to go down another square, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Fairly confident, fairly confident things will be okay. There we go. Here's the uh, tobacco or whatever it is. Whoa there. Whoa. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, bollocks. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, nice explosion. There doesn't seem to be any sound on this game. I don't know why. Oh well. Right, we've got it now. So third time lucky. Or is it fourth time? Is it third or fourth? I'm not sure. Um, right, let's have another go. So we know the first part of it. We need to go down one more block and then open the crate. I'm not sure if we pick the number of crates or if the teacher picked the number of crates. We used to end up with long streams of paper with um, um, uh, the dimensions and not dimensions but distances to travel. It's very much like Logo, how that worked with the turtle. I don't know if any of you remember that, going back in the olden days. But this was great fun. Not the most graphically beautiful or, um, or the most. Uh, Or the most uh, audio sum type of game but it's an educational game the thing is with the BBC it had a speaker in the keyboard so if you had games that made noises quickly the classroom became full of bloody noises that deafened you, you had quite a loud speaker actually so this should be it 
yes and we've done it hey hey brilliant now there's no end game in the game as I remember it doesn't say well done or anything all you have to do is press I think it's Q to go back to the big menu no not that not F2 I think it's Q but anyway whatever it is so you go back to the beginning start again and um, away you go really and that's cargo a very simple game a simple idea but great fun anyway I hope you enjoy that and uh, I'll try and do an Amiga stream tonight or a C64 mini stream or even both let's see how we get on anyway thank you very much and I'll see you next time bye for now Thank you.